My hair did look all right before I put this jumper on, but it's absolutely fine. Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're just joining me now, then hi, my name's Imogen. Thank you so much for finding me. I don't know how you found me, but please definitely stay. I'm very excited for today's video. Not only have we got a what's new in Primark, I take you shopping with me in Primark, but I've got a massive Primark try on haul. I went and got some bits. I'm very excited and my huns. I also went to Boots and did a little bit of damage and I also went to Superdrug and did a little bit of damage. So I'm gonna be doing swatches of the things I got and telling you all the little bits I got and also showing you the Primark bits I've got on and trying them on. So let's get in with it. Okay, so they've got the cutest little broidery tops. I mean, I probably won't be wearing that pregnant because I don't know whether it'd look that nice on me, but they've got the, oh, that is lovely. That is gorgeous. I love that color, don't you, Pop? That is so nice. I was thinking about getting this dress, but I don't know the skirt. But I don't know whether it would be that flattering, but it looks really nice on the model. I love a maxi skirt. I think a white one's nice. I've basically got a dress on like it now, though, so maybe not. That's a nice little top, isn't it? I love all the yellows and the pastel -y colours. See, look, there's where it is, the little white skirt. It looks nice, doesn't it? Don't these joggers look like pretty little thing? I love that writing. How much are they? Oh, no, no one's telling me how much they are. Oh, five pounds, you're winding me up. Five pounds. No, they've got so many different styles as well. They've got navy. That one's a nice one over there. It says be nice. I'll go and show you. Can you see that, Spence? How cute is that one? Yeah, look, be nice. Oh my God, I need new bits. I need new bits to be a mama, you know? I need some more trackies. Everything has sold out, except that dress is really pretty. But everything, I mean, I'm not getting into jeans for a while. But like, look at that cute two-piece. That would have been so nice. And summery with some sandals, wouldn't it? And they had another one here, but it's gone. I'm so sad. Oh, that's a pretty broidery dress, don't you think, Spence? They got my size. They have got a 10. That's really pretty. I like dresses like that, because you can just slot them on, chuck them over the top. You don't have to wear anything, really. Well, you have to wear stuff underneath, obviously. But you'd have to wear everything else with it. Oh, that's a nice chain. Two pounds. Oh. I ventured off from the clothes, but this is a bit of me. Look, the three makeup cleansing cloths, reusable cloths. I'm going to get some. I want some of these, £2.50, and they literally take all your makeup off. You only need water. Chuck them in. And then also, these. These are brilliant, Spence. What are those ones? Why are they so different? No, we're going to get the soft ones. I like the soft ones. I'm getting so excited. So apparently these are unbelievable. So we're getting these. We are getting them. Apparently, the, or is it these ones? Or is it these ones? I'm going to get both, and I'll let you know which one... I think works best. I'll let you know of which individual lashes, because I love a little individual lash. Say hello, Pop. Oh, sorry, everyone else is getting there. I like this dress. I think it's really cute. Pop, do you think it's nice? I think that's cute. I think the converse as well, it's cute. It's just easy, isn't it? Oh my God, how nice is that set? That is gorgeous. Look at the baby pink and then look at the joggers. Spent. Yeah, how, how cute is that? And soft. Oh my God, that is so nice. It's not like really thick either. That is gorgeous. And they have it in a grey. I like the pocket details as well. Sorry, Angel. This is my section at the moment, Angels. All the smock dresses. I'm a fan of the smock dresses. Oh, my goodness. I just feel like they're so flattering. Maybe not that one. I don't really love that one. That's a pretty one. That's a nice one. But I don't know if I'd suit the V-neck. But I like this one round here. just don't know if they've got my size. They've got a six in that. That's pretty. That is really cutesy. Look at that little gingham dress, isn't it? Do you prefer it in the blue or the cream? The cream. They are both nice, aren't they? It is, isn't it? But I've got enough blue dress. So I think this is cute, isn't it? A six. I'm not a six, am I? But it's the only... I'm not a six, but it's a smock dress. So it should be fine. We're going to go for it. We're going to go for it. Do you see what I mean? It's, it's floaty. Yeah. We'll go for it. And also, I think this dress is really pretty, don't you? I think it's a bit see-through for baby girl, though. She's got to have some privacy in there. I love how you ask me if I'm going to wear it. <laughs> Do you want it? Uh... <laughs> you probably might. I think the medium looks a bit big here, but I can tie them with the waist. These just look comfy. And I like that little part there. With a cute pink jumper, it looks so cute. Getting them. Oh my God, I want everything in here. This is so cute. Look at this one. Look at that. I always love the jewellery in Primark. I'm just obsessed with the jewellery in Primark. I want to actually get some hair bits, but now I've been distracted by all the jewellery, so that's a nice one, isn't it? It's 
pretty just individual ones you can layer up. I think I'm going to get these ones. I love getting all the clips. They've got really nice bows as well. They've got lovely headbands as well. I like the little clips. I know this doesn't entice you at all, Spency, but you better get used to it because baby girl's going to want to be into all of this. Maybe she's not. Maybe she'll actually just be into football and going outside or... And that's what we love as well. We won't care. Never thought I'd see the day where all of this excites me. The high waist, the really comfy, invisible. But look, this is what excites me, the, the high waist. Nice. They call them granny pants, Spence, but I don't care. I don't care. Bridget. Yeah, Bridget Jones, you know it. Absolutely love it. Spence would probably prefer that, but I'm about to get these. <laughs> see, I'm, I see myself giving birth in something like that. Like an oversized shirt, pajama top. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Easy to get skin to skin accessible for underneath for all our, like obs and stuff yeah. don't you think yeah. i'd prefer like a black maybe i love their pajamas they're so cute they've got all the disney ones they've got light ones they've got short ones they've got such pretty ones oh how pretty is that i'd actually wear that out as a cardigan i literally am obsessed with their pajamas spencer's just having a look but that little green one's nice as well yeah. So cute. I feel like I need to start with this dress because it is so cute. So this dress was 15 pounds and I got it in a size 10. I am all for these dresses. The smock dresses, the maxi dresses, the midi dresses. I've always been up for these dresses, but especially being pregnant, I'm like, yes, give it to me. I love all the little stripes down it, like the lines. I love the little brodery lacy detail there. This one was, yeah, 15 pounds. It's a lovely length as well. And do you know why I love these dresses? Like this is me being completely honest. I can't be bothered to always like put an outfit together. When you've got a little dress, all you need is like a blazer, a leather jacket, a little over jacket, you know, and some trainers or some cute sandals. I think I've still got bits of galette in my teeth. That's lovely. I had a crepe from a crepe fan. Oh, it's so good. Obviously dairy and gluten free because it's a galette, but wow. What do we think of this dress? Do we think it looks nice on me? I find dresses as well. You can size kind of rough around your size because they're floaty, they're not super tight. You don't need to actually think about your size too much. You can go a bit here or a bit there. You know what I mean? Another little smock dress. I know, I know, I know. I got this in a size six. So I'm hoping that little triangle clip here, it actually fits me. It is so stunning. I honestly think, I'm sorry, are we looking at Zara? I think we're looking at Primark. So this one was 13 pounds, size six gorgeous little checkered colour. They have it in blue as well, but I just preferred this colour because I felt like it went with more. I love the back detail as well. I love the puffy sleeves. I love the little dress detail down here. This is really flattering as well because it kind of hoists you in there and then sort of goes out, goes out, and then it just makes your legs look even more elongated and just the dream. You chuck this dress on and you get ready and you get out of that house and you are good to go, ladies and gently huns. Like honestly, genuinely, I am all up for comfort look at me now i've got this i think i got this from primark actually ages ago i've got this tucked underneath my jumper because even though it's sunny outside don't let the sun deceive you it is not that warm okay oh my goodness so buzzing with these so buzzing with these that legit looks like a pretty little thing i just love that i love that i think it looks so nice am i just being really ridiculous five pounds not me these five pounds i can't i can't even cope five pounds gorgeous little cuffed bottoms i got them in a size medium but i'm rubbish with joggers i really am rubbish with joggers because basically the problem i'm having at the moment is it's not really a problem is it just shut up but basically i love high-waisted things but obviously because of bump the high-waisted situation isn't really working for the size i like so i see a lot of girls wearing like below the bump things I love a high-waisted, so I'm hoping these fit me. I got them in a medium, which is a 12 to 14. So soft on the inside as well. And they had so many different colours, but I just liked that because I love that. A little bit of pink in there. With a pink hoodie would look so cute. Or like, yeah, pink top. I think that would look nice. I actually went and got this dress, but I went on a separate day. Thing is, let me tell you, everything in Brighton is sold out. I mean, I don't think Brighton's the best Primark anyway. The best Primarks for me are the London ones, when they've got stock, but the London ones are massive and they're so good. Where else, where guys do you guys live that's actually a good Primark? Because let me tell you, the Brighton one doesn't cut it, Huns. It doesn't really do that well. I don't think it does that well. I think like all the good stuff goes out straight away, but they don't even have the best stuff in. You know when you see other people's Primark calls and you're like, oh, 
I want that like really cute cord or I really want that nice bralette set. You go into Brighton, they've ne it's never even been in the store. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, I love this dress. How, this is the favorite dress, isn't it? This is my favorite dress. Look, it's got a little bow on the back. I think it's stunning. What I'm hoping is that this little slip underneath isn't too tight, but also the slip isn't see-through. Don't get me wrong, I love a see-through dress when it's got a slip, but when the slip's see-through as well, we have an issue. Houston, we have a problem. This one was 15 pounds, I got it in a size eight. Stunning, absolutely stunning. Love the length. Oh, it's just so floaty and pretty and just everything I want to be this summer. Stay away from jeans. I mean, I don't fit jeans, so let's just talk about that, but jean shorts, jeans, not for me. It's all about the midi, the maxi dresses, the short little smock dresses comfy trainers, sandals, cute jewellery, hair gelled and got off the face, although the gel hasn't really worked today, has it, Huns? We'll just pretend my hair looks like that and it actually looks all right. Yeah, shall we? Okay. So I opened these already, so don't judge a baby princess, but I got some tights, although I wish I'd got them in extra large. I got them in a large, but definitely wish I got them in an extra large because they are a little bit tight. I like tights tights I like tights to be a bit of a give like when I used to dance I used to love tights that would just sort of really come up all the way up here that's just me so three pairs of tights five pounds love a good pair of tights because at the moment all of my dresses I need to wear my biker boots with we need tights we need tights don't know about anywhere else but in Brighton <laughs> the wind must be because we're by the sea wow the wind, it like hits you and goes in there and you're like, sorry. And then the wind goes and the sun's out and you're like, am I on holiday? And then the wind hits you and then you realize, no, I'm just in Brighton and the wind is not loving me at all. Oh my God, I'm so excited about these. I've never tried them. Pink and white, two pack makeup remover mitt, removes your makeup with just water. I love these. And you can turn the mitten inside out and wash it. Wash the mitt in warm soapy water, rinse and leave to dry. Wow, wow, I just, I'm all up for these. I am all up for these, hence the reason I got these ones as well. Three pack of makeup cleansing cloths, three reusable cloths, removes your makeup with just water. I'm here for it, I'm so here for it. You have no idea. How much were these? Oh, it says there, £2.50, and these ones were £2. Had to get both, because I want to try out which one's nicer. Like, I love a mitt, but is this one going to be nicer? I feel like they're going to be like those microfiber cloths where you just go like that and all the makeup's off in one swipe and you're like, thank you. Never thought I'd see the day. Actually, I do. This is, this is me. This is me in one product at the moment. High-waisted, seamless, a little bit of lace for a little bit of... No, I don't even care about the sex appeal at the moment. We're not even going to talk about that. We do not care about that. But these just look how comfy they look. I got them in a 12 to 14. I love with a bit of give, but also they've got to go around bump. Medium, six pounds. Six pounds. I know there's so many people watching, like, all they want is, like, thongs and, like, maybe you want to look sexy. And then there's me, like, woo, party time. Oh, my poor husband. No, not my poor husband, because as long as I'm comfortable, he's having a good time. Do you know what I mean? Socks, because we always need socks when we go to Primark, £1.80. Weird price, £1.80. I like bigger socks sometimes because I don't like them too thick, but I don't like the ankle socks so much. I like to show a little bit of sock, but then some trainers, I want an ankle sock. Then I got these clips because I thought they were cute. Oh, I wish I'd remember I got these clips. This was basically sat in the room where we put all of our shoes. And I forgot I had all of this stuff because I would have worn it today. Um, two pack, two pounds. Look how pretty those clips are. I really like those. And then I've heard some very positive things about Primark individual lashes. And basically the lashes I like at the moment are just the ones that flick out of the ends. Like I like to just wear three quarter length lashes because I just like a little bit on the end, you know? So I got these ones, which are the 30 pack individual lashes with adhesive, one pound. Okay. And then I got these ones, which are individual 60 pack. What's the difference? Who can tell me what the difference is? Oh, 30 pack, 60 pack. Hmm. Am I getting really confused? Has anyone else got this? Anyway, 30 pack for one pound, 60 pack for one pound, but maybe these are better. 
Is that why you get half? Oh, okay. Sorry, angels. This is why. They're in clusters. Can you see they're in clusters? And these ones are just individual completely. These are clusters. No. Anyway, very excited. I will let you know which ones I prefer out of the two when I upload. And then I'll put it in my description box. And I actually will. Try to remember. If I don't, it's baby brain, but if I do, there you go. So now let's go on to Boots and Superdrug. Very excited. I'll start with Boots because I got less from Boots, but um, want to show you this. So, actually got recommended this to me by a couple of you guys in my DMs. Um, and this is quite expensive, let me tell you. Um, this is Clarins Paris Contour Treatment Oil, Contouring and Strengthening, 100% Plant Extract. So this has been recommended for pregnant women, but also for any woman who has sort of problems with their lymphatic draining. So I get a lot of water retention anyway, before pregnancy, but during pregnancy, my legs have swollen. Um, obviously that's normal, but it's quite a lot of uncomfortable water weight. Um, so I just like to keep the, you know, going and keep it draining, you know, etc. So basically this smells divine. It's a contouring and strengthening body treatment oil. The ideal body care to reduce feelings of heaviness and refine the silhouette. This fine lightweight oil immediately absorbed by the skin helps to refine and minimize the look of spongy skin thanks to an application using massage which encourages the elimination of fluids. There you go. I won't read the whole thing because no one really cares but I'm just gonna show you a little smell. It's quite thick so you have to warm it up in your hands. Oh, it, smells like I'm a sp it does smell like I'm in a spa. It was expensive, so let's not talk too much about it, but I really liked it. I've only used it once yesterday, but I already feel like my legs feel a little bit lighter. Obviously, it wouldn't happen after one go. It's probably in my head, psychosomatic, but genuinely, I felt so nice just massaging it into my legs, and fingers crossed. Can help baby girl, you know, get those legs, get those legs moving better, because I want to be able to walk more, but sometimes with the water in my legs, I literally feel like my legs are so heavy, and that's not me saying that they're weighty, they've got water in them, you know? Okay. So, apparently you can tint your eyebrows and you can dye your hair, apparently during pregnancy now. So in the second trimester, but lots of people do it in the first, lots of people never do it at all. Lots of people, the whole pregnancy don't do it. So this is me just saying, let's not judge everyone. Everyone's different completely. But I'm not sure whether I can use this one, but this is the best tint for your brows you will ever have, ever. It's the Just For Men, and I got the Real Black. I'm gonna find out if I can use it during pregnancy because I'm assuming it's the exact same as any tint. Like, let's be honest, it must be the exact same as any tint. Do a allergen test, it doesn't say anything about, well, obviously it wouldn't say anything about pregnant women because it's a men's product, but I am gonna look it up. And maybe if anyone else knows, can you holler at your baby girl? Because people get their eyebrows done all the time and get eyelashes and stuff, so, and get their hair done, but I'm just not sure whether I can use this one. But if I can, so excited. If I can't, my dad's going to get a really awkward present where I'm going to give this to him and say, but then I don't even want him to dye his hair because I think he looks so nice grey. Okay, next product. This is the best thing I've ever, ever, ever purchased. Ever. Ever. This is the IT CC Cream Your Skin But Better Colour Correcting and Full Coverage Cream Hydrating and Anti-Aging Concealer SPF 50. I will, I don't think I'll ever use a foundation again. <laughs> like, legit, I don't think I will ever use a foundation again. This is just my favourite thing ever. It's a CC cream, but it is legit full coverage. Full coverage foundation. It's so soft on your skin. It's so lightweight. It has SPF 50. It fully covers your skin, but you feel like you're wearing nothing. I absolutely love it. So it says, delivers seven in one. Full coverage foundation, SPF 50, brightening, color corrects, hydrating, minimizes look of pores, conceals dark spots or signs of aging. I'm honestly, I know it's expensive, but this lasted me a long time. I had my last one for ages and I just ran out, so obsessed. And I got it in the shade medium. They don't have the best range of colors, but I do feel like they color match. This is my color for definite medium. So, also, the lady at Clarins gave me lots of little free bits. She gave me this tonic for bath and shower. I don't know it's for the bath and the shower, though we can't really have baths at the moment anyway because we have no hot water properly. Um, but this with essential oils. So apparently, Clarins do an amazing pregnancy range for pregnant women. Um, but in general, I love I love Clarins. I love Clarins. There we go. Okay, super drug. I hit it hard. No, I didn't hit super drug that hard actually. To be fair, 
start with the uh, bought boring bits. Three pounds. Or was it? Yeah, three pounds for a triple pack. I love the pure cotton wool pads. I have got uh, reusable ones. I do wash them a lot, but sometimes I just need some cotton wool pads that are there that I can use for my toner or just use in general if I've got a little bit underneath my eyes and they're just in front of me. So it's always good and handy to have. Also, I just wanted to ask anyone out there, when you first give birth, sorry, this is a really random question, but do you use cotton wool and water to wipe your baby's bum instead of uh, wet wipes? Although you can use water wipes. Is that true? Because apparently, just for their skin, probably chatting absolute rubbish, let's ignore me. The lashes that I'm wearing today are these ones, Pro Magnetic, and they are the ooh, Fluttery Light number 007. So they're half lashes, so they start here and just go here. Magnetic, are they better for your eyes? I don't know. But can I use these a couple of times? I hope you don't just say for daily wear. These, yep, oh, 15 wears, 15 wears. I'll probably try and get 20 wears out of them. But there you go. So easy application. L they are very easy to apply and they do stay on. I do actually find the magnetic lashes really easy. If you haven't used them before, you literally put three, um, three little swipes of this. You do one coat, let it dry, second coat, let it dry, third coat, let it dry. And then you stick the lashes on top and they're good to go, I think. I think they look really nice. All right. All right then. All right. This one. I've been wanting to get this for so long and it's always sold out. So I actually went to the Worthing Superdrug because the Worthing Superdrug is so much better than the Brighton one. The Brighton one, everything is always sold out. There's not much there. And you'd think Brighton is bigger than Worthing. So you'd think there'd be more stuff in the Brighton one, but there's not Huns. So this one, Sunset Tan Matte Bronzing Powder. Apparently it's literally like goals. So we got it. Oh, really excited to try this. You know I'm up for anything skin tinty. So this is a super dewy skin tint tinted moisturiser in medium. Um, this is from Makeup Revolution. And I am very excited for this. Let me see what the colour says. Oh, the colour might be a little bit too dark. It's a little bit orange toned. Oh no. See, I like anything really lightweight. I mean, this is just like the cheaper version of my CC cream and it obviously hasn't got SPF or anything like that, but lightweight tinted moisturizer, radiant dewy finish. I'm up for it. I'm up for anything which gives me a kind of finish and doesn't really cover my skin. My mum said to me the other day, she was like, don't cover your skin, baby. You've got such nice skin. And I agree. Like, obviously I'm wearing quite a bit of makeup now, but I do really like when my skin looks like skin, you know? I think I'm absolutely chatting rubbish because look at me right now. You can probably see every pore and every like line from all of my, I don't even know, whatever. I got another one of these because I'm obsessed with this concealer. This is the Elf 16 hour camo concealer matte finish. I prefer the matte finish much more than the hydrating one. I feel like this has got better coverage and I am a dry queen underneath my under eyes, but this never dries out for me. Um, I got this in the shade light sand elf. Love it. It's literally tart shape tape, like even the wand. What is it, a dough, dough shaped wand? Look, you get so much product and it's so affordable and it's so good. 16 hour. I did do a test with the hydrating one, but the, this one I haven't, but I do feel like I don't need my makeup to last 16 hours anyway. Still, it's nice if it lasts. There, I got these ones as well. These are Kami's ones, absolutely obsessed. Thank you very much. These are the half ones as well. Self love, three quarter length. I'm all up for it. Love the name, self love. And actually, Ilya had an offer on where it was like buy one, get one half price. So, should have got the more expensive ones, but these ones were still half price for me. So, lovely. Can you see what I mean? I just feel like they give my eye a bit more of a there instead of a there. I used to love really thick and full lashes, but now I like the. I'm a little Bambi pretty, pretty princess. I think, oh yeah, I've got this on today. So this is the Eye Bright. This is the Illuminating Under Eye Concealer, but I got this in the shade Deep Caramel from Makeup Revolution with Vitamin C. I saw this on TikTok and I am a sucker for something I see on TikTok. And basically they say that this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, you know, their wands. You know, the little ones. If anyone knows what the dupe is for their blusher wands, I'd really like to know. But anyway, brilliant. Spread so easily, love the colour, love the texture, love how affordable it is. You know, Charlotte Tilbury's amazing, but it's pricey. Let me tell you. Is this one I've got on my lips today? This is the colour I've got on my lips today. Apparently it is a dupe for Pillow Talk. It is the shade Chauffeur from Makeup Revolution. I love it. I think it's a really nice nude matte. Reminds me quite a lot of one of my products from the Honey Store. It's very, very similar in colour. But still, it's always good to try new products and stuff like that, you know. By the way, with my brand, 
not that anyone might not even know I've got a brand, but I do have a brand called The Honey Store and it has been such a slow thing because of COVID and it's been such a slow process because of getting samples and finding manufacturers and changing manufacturers. And that's been one of the stresses, which I might document if you want to know about the behind the scenes of my business and stuff like that, but we are working on products. Obviously, I also fell pregnant, so that didn't help things move forward because you know but it's fine it's oh well obviously it's fine it's amazing it's the best thing in the world but just bear with bear with this is another lip liner from nyx and it is called intimidate it's a slidey liner but let's just see it on the hand oh <gasps> i love it i love the shade i think i need it on now oh my god i love a dark lip line she's overlining she is oh i love it I absolutely, oh sorry, that's a lip combo for me, hun. That is that. Love NYX lip liners. They're so creamy and they're so affordable. I've only got two lip liners. I'm sure I bought three. How larry. Yes, I did. There we go. This one's new truffle. I'll show you this next to that. They're probably very similar because I, I really like dark lip liners. I just really, really like them. I feel like it's my favorite product, the dark lip line. And then I also got this one, which is in the shade urban cafe probably gonna be too dark Ooh. oh sorry how you okay oh there we go this one's gonna be too dark isn't it this one's at the top here they all look the same don't they huns do they all look the same i'm not really bothered i think they're nice <laughs> and then got this one from makeup revolution called fling and it's not undone oh there's me thinking i was so prepared it's all right we're doing it putting it all over the floor but it's absolutely fine here she goes there we go Ooh, is that a bit, oh no, that's nice. That's like an orangey, that's nice actually. That is an orangey nude, isn't it? That's nice, that looks nice with those three, doesn't it? I can't put it over the top, can I? Probably shouldn't be doing this. I've already got dry lips layering up. That's a nice color. That is a nice color. Oh my God, my hands, I've loved this. If you like me doing any more hauls and stuff, I really want to go and do like a homeware haul and stuff like that next week. So I upload every Tuesday and Saturday, but I am gonna try and do three videos a week when things start progressing in the house and I have more content to film. I'll see you on Saturday in my next video. I love you guys so much. Until next time, I'm gonna love you and I'm gonna leave you. Bye.